Hello everyone, Marsh W13 here with another hotel review. This week we are back at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, Nevada, but we find ourselves this time in a penthouse suite on the 29th floor. That's room 29055 to be exact. Let's check out the room. And just off the entryway to the right is a guest bathroom, fairly standardly appointed. And on the other side of the entryway is a bar. And in this bar we find the snack box, which of course has weight sensors. So think before you pick up. And you have the full wet bar experience, as well as a coffee maker, a Keurig with plenty of K-cups, and paper cups with lids and condiments. You have a private refrigerator and freezer for your own use, which I've stocked myself. And the traditional mini bar, also with weight sensing technology. Now, behind us, is a very cool area with some nice decorations but more interestingly we have full bottles of several types of liquor and wine some uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Napa Valley from uh, Robert Mondavi we have some Jack Daniels some Patron Hennessy Johnny Walker Black Label Grey Goose and Tito's. I cannot imagine how much they would charge for a full bottle. And now as we head towards the exit of this entryway, we're greeted with the thermostat which controls the temperature in the living area separately from the bedroom which has its own thermostat and we also have controls for the lights and the drapery which of course covers the uh, windows and we'll see what lies behind those drapes here in a few minutes but first as you exit the entryway to your right you have this very sophisticated looking desk area and then as for the living room itself it is comprised of a sectional couch with plenty of pillows a couple of leather chairs backed up against the uh, window there in the drapes and this is a very large TV it's uh, probably 46 50 inches, something like that. And the uh, remote control here, if I can grab the volume, the volume is backed up by subwoofers and it makes quite a thunderous sound. Very, very high quality in these suites. Turn that back down. Now let's head towards the dining area and as we do so we pass the bar and on the other side of the bar here are a couple of high backed leather bar stools very very cool and some interesting modern art on the uh, dividing table here between the living room and the dining room and above the dining room table where one could enjoy good conversation, room service, all of the above is a chandelier.
all in all very very nicely appointed and then a uh, table on the side here atop which sits more very interesting glassware and pottery and artwork and as we proceed deeper through this door is the bedroom covered in this sort of dark red wallpaper the bed is just uh, magnificent looking and there's also a, a chaise lounge there sitting by the window the bed definitely definitely on the firm side probably an 8 out of 10 10 being hard as a board plenty of drawer space on the uh, nightstand here and more uh, pottery and a nice uh, a 42 46 inch television set and of course just off the bedroom is the master bath before we get there at the end of this little corridor is a chest of drawers with plenty of space for any items that don't fit in the closet now as for the bathroom itself and as with many Bellagio suites, as I recall, there is a working television set in the mirror. And as you enter here, there's this little sitting area, I guess, uh, for applying makeup. Kind of a little nook. And then a closet. We'll inspect... Uh, the available space in a moment. As for the toiletries provided, there is a dental kit and a uh, vanity kit as well as mouthwash and lotion, shampoo, and conditioner as one would expect. Just a uh, single basin here with faucet, but there is a jetted tub, which is always cool, provided with bath salts and a sponge. And a separate room with toilet and bidet. And inside the closet, it's quite spacious, not as large as some of the super luxurious rooms uh, that you might find on the Strip, like uh, in, say, the MGM Skylofts, where you would have a, a huge walk-in closet. But um, as you'll see in a couple of moments, this is not the only closet space available. And you have a lot of rack space with extra hangers tucked away here in the corner. And little cubby holes here with uh, slippers and a hair dryer and storage space. One thing that is lacking here is the safe, which works perfectly well. But as you can see, um, it is, in my case, stuffed full of equipment with uh, no room to spare and I will relate that my iPad Pro did not fit in the safe. So uh, that is a bit disappointing given the size of the room. The, uh, the safe does not provide matching space. But if we head back out and across the hall through this door is the other half of the bathroom and where in the first half there was a little makeup application area in this half there is a little seating nook where perhaps uh, 
one could uh, dress oneself. And aside from that, this is somewhat of a symmetric copy of the other half. There is another mirror with another television set and uh, a, another sink and basin, but uh, this one, as you can see, has uh, shaving amenities as well. And a, another uh, closet, but uh, I will relate without opening it that it does not have a safe, it doesn't have an ironing board, it's just closet space. And then yet another toilet, but without a bidet and a wall mounted telephone. And then a shower with a little bench and crucially a steam mist steaming system um, which is essentially a sauna and you'll find that of course in uh, even the more basic Bellagio suites uh, so uh, I am pleased that it is not uh, missing from this penthouse experience Alright, let's head back into the bedroom and let's find the controls for the drapery. And I'm going to hit the open button. And I should preface this by saying that uh, I could have requested a fountain view, but instead I elected because I was checking in early at uh, noon to take the first available and uh, I've already had amazing fountain views on this trip. So I stuck with what I suppose would be the, the uh, quieter side of the hotel. This is the, the back side and you do get a, uh, a mountain view. You can see the Rio Hotel, which I believe was recently uh, sold and you get a nice view of what is about to be rush hour traffic. And now heading back to the dining and living area to finish our tour. We'll relocate the drapery controls here and we'll show you what wall-to-wall -wall windows look like but we see here essentially the same view just a slightly wider angle thereof well I hope you found this room tour informative and helpful and I hope you can join me again next time for another Marsh W13 Hotel Review. In the meantime, safe and happy travels. Goodbye, everyone.